<sighs> Man, I just got off the worst flight of my life. Literally. Straight up. I want to edit the video and tell you the story. I'm super tired. But yo, you know what? I got an idea. Keep watching. It's story, it's story time. time. Okay, this is how it starts. As you know, I breathe sharp pace. So I had a lady that wanted one all the way over in Baltimore, right? So I get to online, looks up the cheapest flights that I can get round trip, right? Come across this ad for Frontier. So I'm looking at it, not really gonna check no bag, it's just gonna be me and Pup. So I said, why not? We fly out of Las Vegas about 12 midnight. We had to go stop over in Denver before Baltimore. Like the first thing that I noticed about Frontier Airlines is there's like no leg room whatsoever, zero. I mean, it's crazy. Like you don't even got a tray table. Like you don't have enough leg room to have a tray table. So you have this like half tablet looking tray table that you can't even put a drink on. But whatever, I digress. I got lucky enough to get a whole road of myself on this flight. So me and Pup, you know what I'm saying? We was pretty comfortable for this flight. Look, see? Look at that leg room. And I'm sitting sideways, so you can imagine. Okay, so me and Puff, we get to the airport. It's about one, two in the morning, it's nighttime. You know, I was trying, going to try to get me a nap in, but if you know them airport floors, you know how hard they are on the back. Anyways, so we just decided, you know what I'm saying, walk around the airport, take some pictures of some things. You know, getting our small room. Okay, I got a little nap in, and now it's daytime. I got like one or two hours to my next flight, right? So, I walks up to this information desk, right? And I asked the lady, you wouldn't happen, you wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to have a place I could smoke, right? And she says, no sir. You would have to go outside and back through TSA because we took all the smoking areas out of our airport. I was like, you serious? She's like, serious. I'm like, you serious? She's like, serious. So you mean to tell me the state in which they first legalized anything and now they basically almost legalize everything. Does not have a place to smoke. You kidding? I am not kidding, sir. Like I said, you're going to have to go outside the airport and come back through TSA. This is not Vegas. I said, excuse me. I mean, she thinks she cute. I mean, she cute. You ain't that cute. Get up out of here with that attitude. Okay, so I come back inside while I'm going through TSA. You know what I'm saying? Dude comes over, he's like, Sir, you're gonna have to stand over here. And I'm like, What? Man, for what? So they go through my bag. I only had a camera bag on me, right? So they go through it like three times. I'm like, Why are you going through all of my stuff three times, right? They're like, because you had a tablet, an iPad in your bag. I'm like, you could have easily just cut it off and cut it back on, right? It's, it's policy, sir. I was like, man, you gotta be kidding. And then this little old lady behind me, she was like, yeah, they did the same thing to me for my Kindle. And I'm like, so let me get this straight. Donald Trump can do anything to this country. 
this. But John damn near gave us a cavity search for him. Jeez. Okay, so we leave up out of Denver on our way to Baltimore so I can drop the puppy off to the lady, right? See, the other thing about Frontier that I don't like is that they charge you literally for everything. I mean, when that lady come, when that lady comes by with that little shopping trade thing or whatever, if you don't got no card, you don't get no snacks. I mean, a pack of peanuts cost on this airplane. I mean, they charge for water, like water for real. So I was like, man, deuces on that. I'm cool. All right. So we made the drop. We on the plane, feeling good. Got about an hour and twenty. A little bit over an hour before I get back to Vegas right now. So literally, we're on the taxi way. About to take off. You know, the flight crew that did they 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 fly through thing. And then boom! Lights go out. Everything. It's crazy. It's like, what's going on? Captain come over the microphone, right? He like, ah. Uh, I can't get my computer systems to work. I can't get my, I can't get, yeah. We're gonna have to go back to the gate and the maintenance guys gotta come on the plane and and they gotta do the maintenance thing, right? And I'm like, what? You gotta be joking me. Oh man, out of all things. So we sitting there, right? They got these dudes come on the plane. They all, you know, got they, they you know, maintenance uniforms on and stuff like that. And they, they going all through the plane. Then outside we hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lights go out again. It's like they, you know, they cutting on the engine of the car. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, like something wrong with the starter or something like that, right? So we at the gate, you know, we bucking out, but like a lot of people was like, hey, well, at least it's down here and not up there. So, you know, I agree. So anyways, we waited an hour and 20 minutes at the gate for them to figure it out. Then he come back on the microphone like, Uh, well, uh, okay, uh, we'll be cleared to take off, so, uh, we're gonna, um, we gotta sign some paper, I gotta sign some paperwork real quick for the tower and for the company, and then we'll be off, right? And I'm like, yo, is this, this? dude's first day on the job like seriously bro like who said who even says that right anyways so we taxi out we get up in the sky all is good you know we, we good we, we, we flying through you know we flying through then all of a sudden boom, same thing happen again same thing lights go out engines is on crazy like it, like, I failed to mention that we were also leaving out of the storm. So we caught some pockets. Whatever was going on, it was crazy. Stuff was flying. Little kids flying in the hall, in the aisleway. The, 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 the flight attendants is like, get back to your seat. Get back to your seat. Well, I'm like, I'm bugging out. Because we start diving. Like, literally diving. Like, All of a sudden, you hear the pilot come back on the microphone like, okay, all uh, right. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna uh give this about five more minutes, and then we're gonna see, we're gonna uh reevaluate our situation and what we're gonna do. I said reevaluate your situation? What the what does that mean? Even if I was flying the plane, I wouldn't tell nobody that. Like this dude, it was like his first day at the job. Like he, he didn't know what to do. So you know what I'm saying, things calmed down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We 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 started chilling this out of third. So like now. When the lady come back through the aisle, you know what I say when she was like, yo, do you want something to drink, this, that, and the third? You want to swipe the card or whatnot? I'm like, yes. Let me get two of your finest Jack Daniels, please. And I was like, yo, yo, if you know anything about me, just a week ago, I jumped out of a perfectly good working airplane. There's no reason why I should be this scared on a commercial airline. None. Zero. No reason. So... We go through that whole thing again. I go to the bathroom. I'm trying to take a pee. Have you ever tried to take a pee when your plane is taking a dive? It's like, you trying not to squirt on yourself, all of that stuff. Like, it was madness. Yeah. Well, all the while, got home to Vegas, safe and sound. 
But guess what? I will never, when I say ever, never, ever, 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 never be flying Frontier Airlines again. Never. I take a damn Greyhound before I go on Frontier Airlines again. And might not be that drastic, but you get where I'm going with it. Never, never, never. Yo, they lucky I don't yelp. I'll be yelping all week, man. You know what I'm saying? A a left frontier airlines know they need to step their stuff up for they hurt somebody for real. This hit, man. See y'all later.